All right, we're going to Battlefield. No idea if it's a button check or not. I know, I wouldn't take Wario to a Battlefield. I'd take Wario on a flat-ass stage. Why? So oh, that zero to 53 combo. Oh. To death. Zero to death from Dizzy. No, it's worked. It's not starting out this uh, game for, uh, well. And uh, what we have here is we have kind of pure jank versus pure fundamentals, as Sheik is just all about. Well put, well put. Sheik doesn't have any special tools. She's just about being good, <laughs> really. Oh, Ooh, that dare. was very interesting. Counter hit dare. Oh, but oh, that's a but stock. That's a Dizzy has taken two stocks very quickly, is just about 30 seconds. Nair out of shield is very good. He can grab out of it, as you see. He can also jump out of his side B, so if he overextends himself with it, he has methods to cover that. That's a, that's not a stock, no. His recovery is quite good. Jab, jab, down tilt. That's what we're talking about here. The jank is real. Ah, uh, yeah, you probably have seen Spark somewhere before. And very, uh, are we going to have any four-stock hype? What can Spark do about this? Because right now he's oh, just kind wow. of getting run over by this Wario. And uh, Folks, Dizzy a has a fart. Dizzy has a fart loaded up. That is... Oh, that's... One of can he, is he going to use the fart to recover? No, no he's, he's not. not. He's not. What I guess Dizzy wants a right fart now? kill. Oh, the bite! Is this going to be game over? No. No, Spark DI'd it properly. Now, here's the thing about the bite. Uh, to DI it properly... Um, the proper DI for the ba the forward throw bite is the improper DI for the backward throw oh. bite. So there is a 50-50 DI mix-up going on with that move, which is part of why Wario can be such a rough that's matchup. It, but that's it. that's that's game one. That was a that's hard, game one. That was a three star from Dizzy. Harsh match for Sparks. It is. I wonder what Sparks is going to do about it. Uh, respecting Wario. Respecting Wario is might be a big part of it because Wario isn't gonna do anything if you keep him out. He does not have good range options. So it sounds like um, the projectile game with sheep. Is the needles, button. the needles would seem to be extremely important. I would also say spacing back airs. Ah, that's true. Spacing back airs or just spacing aerials. We know, we know that Spark knows how to space aerials. Oh, the man is good. And uh, we need to update the uh, match. All right. Where would you take Wario as a Sheik player? As a Sheik player, where would I take Wario? Honestly, no idea. I what? I think flat flat stage. Keep flat it stage? simple. I think the more platforms, the more jank. The more jank, the more Wario's doing stuff to me. I think I just want a simple, simple spacing matchup. Just, just plain and simple. Have you seen Spark play other, any other character besides Sheik? I have not. All right. I don't have, but let's see where the bands are. This is Wario's bands right now. Bands he bans Green Hill Zone and Pokemon Stadium 2. Interesting. I think it's because they're really large stages. Wario works better in very Green, Hill, Green Hill Zone isn't a large stage. That's a small ah. stage. Which is why I'm curious to why he banned that one. Oh, is, uh, are we going to see a character switch? Oh, we are... Switch. Maybe... A Kirby. Kirby! Very interesting. I have no idea what's going to happen, folks. A Jank versus a Floaty. Kirby's got a lot of jank in his, going himself. This is also too. Powder blue Kirby, I like the skin, I have to say. Oh, right off the bat. <clears throat> going for a full neutral combo, racking up 16%. That's an entire falcon knee there. That's a nice sauce. It is. Now, uh, you have an interesting, there's a very interesting, th this, this matchup is kind of interesting because both characters sport a lot of aerial mobility. Wario has the number one aerial mobility in the game, whereas Kirby has a lot of jumps and a lot of moves to take advantage of his aerial mobility. And uh, they're both feeling each other out right now. They're playing footsies. Oh, are we going to see a two dash? Now, you see Kirby at the edge of the stage. This isn't really that bad a position for Kirby, as Kirby has all those jumps. True. So, the corners of the stage... Oh, and... <laughs> there are... These players are testing the waters. Wario using his fair to get into Kirby's space. Oh, oh use it, that's a great usage of the downer to the fart! That's why, by the way, you cannot stall against Wario. He will build up the fart. Oh, this is true. And you can't let that happen. Oh, gets the bite. What's he gonna convert off it? How does one go about charging the fart as a Wario player? It's completely time-based. Oh, really? Yes. There is no method to it. So, but if you, so if you waste time against Wario, he will get more farts. And the more farts he has, the deadlier he is. Yes, I mean, you saw how quick that kill was after a large period of time of inaction. 
A wise man once said that if you smelt it, you dealt it. Thank you, Kari. Um, Spark, trying to figure out anything that works. No, he does not. Wario does not have, have the bike, bike in PM. He has instead that side B tackle charge, which I haven't seen Spark, do, I haven't seen Dizzy do much with, but it hits extremely hard, and it also gets stronger the longer it's out when started on the ground. Oh, this is true. Also, if you get hit by an NGI wrong, it's uh, almost a guaranteed kill. Almost a guaranteed kill. Not necessarily against Kirby, though. Oh, screw that. Oh, the but guard. that is a good ledge hog. Dizzy still with all four stocks. He has a fart loaded up. How is Kirby going to finish this stock? He goes for the nair off stage. Oh, the fart connects. That's 21%. An up air from Kirby will certainly finish the stock. Goes for the side B. Oh, the grab. Dizzy, Dizzy knows how to use this character. I'm going to say that right now. He's utilizing every part of the jank. Oh, oh, that trade... Wasn't Spark's favor, but it is three stocks to two. Dizzy with a percent lead. And, and a stock uh, lead as well. Yes. You are you are seeing why Wario is scary right now. Advice. Oh, the dare. Oh. Dare to nair. Just, just a painful combo right here. Strong nine. And High he, level gameplay right here, folks. High level gameplay. We have tiptoes. We have the booty crawl. Shake it, Wario, shake it. Don't know if that's allowed on stream or not. I think it is. Nice. Oh, he goes off stage. But as you can see, that corkscrew move that Wario has is just a whirlwind of kill. Oh, oh, that, that was, was a, clean. That was indeed a clean kill. See you, Map Speaking. Wish I could have played you more, but we're busy. I'll miss you. And Dizzy, Dizzy with the combos. See you at Paragon! What is Dizzy- how is Dizzy gonna go and try to finish this? Uh, Sparks looking a little at the end of his rope right now. Just, I feel like Sparks is just, feeling the pressure and he's panicking. Oh, that- yeah, that's, that's game. It, that's the game. That's game. 2-0 to Dizzy. Game over. I feel that uh, Sparks is not fully into And it. as you can see, Wario does have his motorbike. It's in the victory screen. And, uh... I wonder who's coming next. Hey Brad! Brad, who's our next set? I'm just gonna have Brad do like the updates for those things. I mean, I know how to do it technically, but I just don't want to deal with it, you know? Yeah. We are currently figuring out who is next. We're currently in, um, what's, what's that word? Between, um, between, um, acts in a theater. You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? No, I do. It's, um... So, in theater, right before the next section of the, the play, there there is something... Like, a, a break period between the two sections. I just don't remember what the word is. Okay. Well, folks, we are in a break section that Kari doesn't know the word of. I'm trying to remember. He is trying to remember. The, a theatrical break. I just don't remember what it's called. Miller! Miller! Miller, come here! I'm trying to remember the, the word. 